Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. So today I want to ask you, are you getting what you're looking for out of social media? And that sounds like a strange question, but it's been an interesting year because from both a marketing perspective and a personal perspective, I've been reading a lot of different things and seeing how some people are like pulling away in some ways because they think social media is kind of beating them up mentally and marketers are trying to figure out how they can you know keep promoting their own thing or themselves while it looks like social media wants to have it both ways first they let you pretty much hey you know come join us and do what you want to then they start putting limits on it then they start kind of beating you down then they say however you can pay us for it maybe we'll help you and it's a maybe it's not even a definite so it's been an interesting year and I thought I would kind of give my little perspective on this because I have gone kind of back and forth on it. Now, I love social media. I love watching the videos on YouTube. I love my interactions on Twitter. I like going on Facebook for a couple of things here and there. I don't spend a lot of time on Google+, Plus. I'll admit. And LinkedIn started out last year, or this year, it's still 2015. It started out great, and then it just kind of petered out. There have been a lot of changes. I mean, LinkedIn changed a lot of things. Google Plus has just changed a lot of things. Twitter has taken away the Twitter accounts so that we can't tell anymore who's sharing our stuff uh, on Twitter. Uh, it, it's just wild. Facebook is always changing, so that's not really a surprise there. And I have found that there are times where I feel mentally burned out. Now, some of that is because I write a lot. Um, I have five blogs. Um, I actually have already done the totals here. I've wrote close to 350 articles this year <laughs> across, across all my blogs, across blogs of other people. I was in a couple of regular magazines this year. I wrote a book. I finished writing a book, but most of it was a lot of rewriting, and I did it this year, so I had to do that. Um, my goodness, I did, what, 70 videos, almost 70 videos. I have done a lot, and I've done a lot of interviews uh, for other people, not just my own interviews, but, you know, for other people who wanted uh, to interview me. Uh, I don't know why people, actually, I do. I'm, I'm looking to try to get more people to want to interview me, but sometimes it comes out of left field. I'm like, okay, why do they want to talk to me? But you know what? I'll talk to anybody. I'm friendly like that. So, you know, I have that. Then I noticed that Facebook, um, the people who I used to see a lot of things from, it looks like that's dwindling. And I'm not sure if that's because of the people or because Facebook has done something. But I'm not seeing close to the kind of stuff from the people I'm connected to that I was seeing before. And I'm seeing a lot more from people who I don't talk to all that often. And it just makes you wonder, okay, is Facebook playing me? Are they doing something to me? I don't know. Google Plus's change has really kind of irked me a little bit because it looks pretty, but they've taken things away that you have to go back in and find a way to put it back. For instance, they initially took away circles. It was just a default in their programming. They took it away, and I had to go do some research to find out how to turn that back on so I could put people back in the circles. That was irritating. LinkedIn and the groups. You know, LinkedIn used to have this thing where if you participated in a group a lot, you got to be, you know, known as kind of authority or something like that. Well, they totally took that away. And now there's no real reason to comment on anything. And most of the people only post links anyway without adding anything to the link that they're posting. So you don't even know what their thought is. They're just putting up a link and saying, you know, go read this, which is something I've never done. So that's irritating. So I've been irritated more than impressed with a lot of what I'm seeing in social media and blogs. Oh, this was an interesting year for blogs. And, you know, I always go and I comment on blogs. But this year, for the first time, I participated in a blog carnival kind of thing. And it failed miserably because it turns out the overwhelming majority of people who write blogs don't know anything about how to comment on other blogs. Uh, people, you don't just write great posts on a blog. No one cares. If you're me, you're going to delete it because you just wasted my time and having to read that. And you're going to waste anyone else's time. So it's been a really weird social media year. And probably the most enjoyment I've gotten outside of Twitter has been YouTube. I have found some people that I've loved to watch this year. 
and I've added a bunch more to it. And I really love, I can't, I can't even think of the channel, but you can watch movie reviews. I mean, not movie reviews. Um, what do you call those? Uh, trailers. Movie trailers. And that's been fascinating. I have seen some things that I said, oh, really? I want to go see that. And I've seen some things where I've said, okay, that's kind of pretty. I'm never going to watch that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't pay for dramas. I'm just not going to do it. Um, but, you know, I'm fascinated by some of the things that are coming out soon. Obviously, uh, this week, the Star Wars comes out. But I've seen the trailer for Star Trek's next movie, which, you know, it's still Star Trek, but I'm a little leery about that one. I've seen the one for Captain America. That's a definite go. I saw the one for Independence Day. Are you kidding? That's a definite go. <laughs> so, you know, and there's the one about the life of pets. Even if it's animated, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to wait till someone else basically says it's the best thing they ever saw for me to even think about going to watch that. I don't know. I'm just not, not attracted to it. But I love that kind of thing. I love this guy, Dame Drops, where you get to go and watch his food videos. And that's just, he's just funny as sin. I've really enjoyed watching Philip DeFranco this year. I've had a good time with that. Uh, Andre of Black Nerd Comedy and Katie Wilson, you know, they're buds. And I've enjoyed that a lot. Discovered Rosanna Passino, I think it is, um, who, who does the food. She actually makes the food. And, oh, my God, the epic food guys. <laughs> I have watched some of that stuff, salivated, and got sick at the same time because there's no way I could ever eat all that stuff. That would just be wild. So, like I said, I've had an interesting year as far as social media goes. My love, hate for it, you know, depending on how uh, the day has swung. So, I put it out to you guys. Are you getting everything you want out of social media? How do you feel about it? Um... Just, you know, let me know your thoughts. And that's pretty much all I have today. So, like I said, I'm Mitch Mitchell. I hope you all take care.